What is up guys? Welcome to a brand new Road to Master. I'm missing out today. Let's go to Road to Master. This is going to be, we are 1-0 in our Platzu promos at the moment. If you want to skip the game, you can go over to the left of the screen, which is over that way. To so my right, to so the, the left for you guys. And you can skip straight to the actual game. We'll get you straight into the action. We're going to be paying 80 carry again. So luckily I'm getting 80 carry a lot on this account. I'm not getting it much on my other account, but the unranked down one. But the master one, we are getting... Um, quite a, a lot of AD carry. So this is actually turning into a really nice team comp for an AD carry to play in. We'll see what our support is, but the Lissandra, Trundle, um, Mimu is a big front line for us. They're all three going to dive in and it will keep people distracted a, bit, uh, a long time. So I'm actually going to be relatively safe. Nami as well is, is cool because she's going to be protecting us at the back of this. So I'm looking for some damage at this point. We, we need some damage with whatever we're going to play. And we have to be able to really kick it into gear and actually like carry the game. So our play jinx already. Caitlyn has taken. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna play Lucian. I think. I think we're gonna play some Lucian. Or we could actually play some Gin and follow up with it. We can play some Gin and follow up. I think, which will be actually nice. So I have an arm pen page ready. We're gonna go for. Um, hey. We're going to go for Armour Pen. We'll go for this, though. We'll take the Natural Talent. This, everything else, is pretty much standard. And, uh, yeah, we should have a pretty decent team comp. So, I, I wasn't sure about the Jin pick here because I was thinking I kind of want to play Jin. I haven't played him in a little while. He is very, very strong. Probably the best that he carry at the moment, even though I'm probably going to butcher him after saying that. But he is very strong. The problem is going to be more that Caitlyn is not that for any of a matchup for him early because he does, she does just outrange him. Bard is a little bit annoying. You can stun and just ult you, um, especially when you actually ult. So I'm kind of relying on the fact that Bard doesn't know how to play this matchup because what can Bard can do, if you're ever going to play against a Jin and you're playing support, get, or you have just like the support on your team, just ask them to play Bard because as soon as Jin ults, what you can do is you can actually just um, use the bard ult directly onto the gym because you can see where the shots are coming from and it will cancel his ult. So that is a really, really solid way of actually countering gin. I kind of just counterpick myself that way. But I'm kind of relying on the fact that this guy is not going to do it. Why are there so many pre-mades like all of the time? So, geez, I don't know who's pre-made on my team, but the Darius, Bard and Caitlyn are pre-made. So that means TP ganks are going to come bot lane. I'm going to be playing against a pre-made AD carrying support like... Fuck dynamic here, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, so i have kind of nervous about picking Jim because of that interaction. Also, Velkoz can hit me from range, which is not very nice. The Elise is going to be quite a high ganker. So this is actually a little bit of a risky team comp to play the Jin into. But I think that we have such a big front line that they're going to be occupied with them, which means I can sit at the back and I can use my ultimate um, to really do a lot of damage. That's the idea behind this pick anyway. Like they, They're going to go in. They're going to be distracted by the Amumu Trundle, the Lissandra. And I'm going to have a Nami sit next to me protecting me anyway. And I can put a lot of damage from the back of the fight. So that's the idea behind it. We'll see if it actually turns out in that way or not. But I, I hope it does. I think that, that the logic behind it is a solid pick. Um, but we're going to find out. That is actually, I'm pretty sure, the beta icon that Bard has. I think that's the beta icon, which means he might actually have an idea of how to play the game. So that will be kind of disappointing. Um... Yeah, that'll be kind of disappointing if that's actually going to happen, but <laughs> hopefully it doesn't. And uh, yeah, hopefully it doesn't. But I think like matchup wise, we should be good. Honestly, matchup wise should be good. So welcome to the rest of you guys. If you skipped Champion Select, everyone should be here together now. We are going to play some Jin AD carry today. Uh, I think Lissandra's mid, right? Yeah, Lissandra's mid. Let me just rearrange the scoreboard very quickly. And we're good to go. So we are against a Caitlyn and a Bard. And Bard is Ignite. So this is something we have to be careful with. Actually, Nami has Ignite too. Now, normally, I'm not a massive fan of Nami and Ignite. Because you can go quite aggressive. But I think against a Caitlyn, it's going to be quite difficult. But actually, against a team, like, who is she going to exhaust really? Darius is can just kind of wait it out. And then he can use his ult afterwards. At least, maybe, I guess. But actually, we could maybe fight. See how aggressive she goes. But the weird thing that I don't like here is that she's actually gone coin instead of the spell thief. So I think if you take ignite and you're going to go aggressive, you should take the AP uh, support item and actually go aggressive. The coin is more for gold generation than it is for fighting. So that kind of contradicts itself, really. Like if you're going to go um, wind speakers and you're going to go coin, you should probably take exhaust. But Never mind, we'll see. We have double TP though. One thing that I said in the loading screen, just to be, bear in mind this game though, and I might adjust how I play, is that the enemy AD carry support and top laner are pre-made. There's a three pre-made on the enemy team, so 
Thank you, Dynamic Q, for pairing me up with that. Uh, I don't know who's pre-made on my team. I have no idea. But it does mean that a random support and AD carrier with me and the Tsunami are going to be up against a pre-made lane. So it's going to be kind of tough. And I expect them to go more aggressive because in general, these... Um, in general, these pre-mades go more aggressive with each other. What in the world? Okay, he's going to do that. Sure. I think you should smite earlier so that you have the buff, like, generating. But, I mean, what do I know, right? Okay. Let's get a little tickle. I'll tickle a little 394 damage, which is nice. Very easy trade as well because you have your speed up at the end of that once you've used it. So, crit, speed up, and run away. Pretty much the easiest thing in the world to to do there. Oh my god, I missed that one. I was going to queue instantly, and then I hesitated and was like, do I need to queue? Turns out I don't need to queue. We're going to probably farm mostly in this lane because, because they are pre-made. I am going to play a bit more pussy. Some people think this is a bad thing to adjust your playstyle, like knowing that they're pre-made. But in my experience, a random support and a pre-made one, uh, like... Pre-made AD carry and support are going to do a lot more work than two randoms, and they'll be more coordinated. It'll be much more, uh, much more difficult. So we can go aggressive and stuff, sure, but you know we have to be. I'm not going to run up to them and just like you know, randomly. Oh God, I hate Jin. I actually love Jin, so that's a lie. But I hate CSing with Jin. Uh, I'm not going to run and go up and be too aggressive, literally just because I don't want them to suddenly come on and be super super ham oh my god i should have done that earlier i'm bad i didn't want to do that because i didn't there wasn't any follow-up but then i was like actually you know what okay i'd have preferred if you'd have healed me then army but i don't mind taking some uh free harass though because i do have a heal with nami okay they are level three though let's be careful and they have ignite i'm gonna ward this as i will back always do this when you're going back and you're they could abuse it like if you aren't in range of this is a massive risk to come and ward it so you always want to make sure that as you're running backwards before it's too late you've warded that bush even if it's a bit preemptive like there isn't a threat or an immediate reason for me to oh man i put that up ouch Okay. We actually have Caitlyn's uh, pot though, which is why I went back in to trade with her, because I can put some damage onto her. Ideally, the I well, okay, so the idea was that I put damage onto her, and then she's going to heal it up with me. So, like, she can't heal it, and I'm going to heal it back with my potion, but um, I actually didn't get very much damage onto her, so that ended up kind of cocking up. Bollocks. Oh, I didn't actually miss that one. I'm going to miss that one though. Nope, okay. Learned how to farm apparently, just for now at least. By the way, runes, mastery, and stuff. I didn't say it, but it's in the description if you. Careful, Nami. Yep, that's why you want to be careful of. Caitlyn is very good when you run. <laughs> Come on now. Caitlyn is very good when you run at her because she can just net and headshot you. So you actually never really want to run towards a Caitlyn. At least not in, f like, in front of minions, anyway. I think Bard might have gone on his like magical journey to go and find some charms. Yep, bollocks. Yo, Nami, please help me. Thank you. Nami, like, baiting in the bush was fine, but it's actually difficult because... I'm, I'm trying to bait her in for the Amumu here. Nice. Yo, I can't kill her. Please kill her. <laughs> I didn't... I had to reload. This is something really awkward, but I had to reload, so I wasn't able to get the pick up the kill. I wasn't in range for my Q either. Someone else is here, I think. Otherwise, I don't know why Bard would go so aggressive. So, we're just going to base on this. It's actually not great because this is going to mount up for the Caitlyn. So, she actually doesn't lose any CS, really. Um, but, you know, for me, I'm going the armor pen build so I can base on 1200 gold. Normally, as an AD carry, you wouldn't base on that because 1200 gold is like the, the horrible gold amount to base on. Uh, you can't get a, a BF sword, so you have to get pickaxe, and you've got this awkward amount left. So normally, like on any other AD carry that was going to get a BF sword, I would have waited it out and pushed it, risked it probably, because it sucks otherwise. But we're actually still able to do it. My CS is bad. We've been fighting, so it's kind of made up for it, but my CS is bad, so I need to improve on that. Now, Caitlyn doesn't have any potions. This is something that's actually massively wrong you would do, unless she plays perfectly. Now, we'll see how she plays this, because she could play it fine, and it'll be fine. But... 
if you have no potions, League is actually... Uh, as much as League is just like... He's just gonna magical journey. Oh, I'm moving up. Oops. As much as League is, um, just a, like Sodoku, right? It's just League. It's actually also a mini game of potions. So if you if the enemy doesn't have any potions, kind of what I said earlier, they don't have potions, but you do. You're able to trade. You're able to heal back up, and they can't. So you actually have a natural advantage, and that's why you kind of don't ever want to base really in combat to lane with no pots. Unless you know that you're not going to be taking damage. But that would mean that Caitlyn's just going to give me a free lane. And if she's going to do that, I'm more than happy to accept that. Like, Caitlyn should bully a Jin early. And I, if she's not going to do that, then, you know, it's fine. I I mean, yes, Spark can heal, but he's not... I assume he's not going to be maxing his heal. He shouldn't be. So it's not going to be that, that amazing. From what I think so far, judging by this Caitlyn, she's maxing her Q. So I just have to dodge that rather than her traps. Um... Personal preference, I guess, but it does make it a bit different. Nice, that was a pretty decent trade. I don't really want to use my W unless we're going to set something else up. But is still in the... Oh, he okay, went through. Remember as well on Jin, just to like a side little mini note. When you uh, use your Q bouncing, like your Q and it bounces, if it kills a minion on its way, it actually increases the damage it does to the rest of the target. So... If like if I could get it to kill this minion and then bounce to Caitlyn, like that would actually do loads of damage. Let's see if that's what's gonna happen. Not really, sadly. She's level six though, and I'm not. Whoa, what are you doing, love? That actually cost me my heal for no reason. And your flash. Mimu is here, but I can't go too aggressive. <gasps> Fuck's sake. He's gonna get hit her, I guess. Heal though, maybe? I don't know. Oh, he's not even going to get him. Ouch, that's going to really sting. Okay, Nami got that, but we're all going to die for this, so not not good. Not good. I went too aggressive there. We shouldn't have done that. Um, We shouldn't have done that because Nami went in as Caitlyn got 6 and we weren't. Like, I'm still level 5. So you never fight someone when they have their ultimate ability. Like the extra damage from Caitlyn ult is basically what decided that I think more than anything else anyway. So dumb on our part. I should have just left her. Um, I shouldn't have gone in for that really. But we'll, we'll see. It's not the, not the end of the world. Caitlyn didn't get very much out of that. But my farm is considerably like is, is way below what it needs to be. And it's mainly because we're fighting too much and I'm having to run around and base a lot. So... Um, there's, I need to focus on my, yeah, I need to focus on my farm for now and get gold because without gold, I'm not really going to be able to carry anyway. I don't think, like, I'm not too worried, I guess. Whoa, she should be dead though. Okay, maybe not. Whoa, dude, you need to just chill. <laughs> oh my God. I, that is the best part I've seen for a while. I need more damage onto um, them before I ult. Normally I would just ult, but I can't really do that unless I get a bit more damage first. He's so fast with those movie boots. Oh my god. Okay, so farm. Careful for Elise. Use my ult if I can. That's basically the plan for now until I get my ghost blade. Elise, Elise is top, so we know that at least. I really would like that bush warded though. If I could have that bush warded so I could do a bit more, that'd be nice. Which is good. And then this and this. And we'll probably just get the cannon, I think. I don't think we're gonna trade here. I don't think there's any point trading. I'd rather just get the CS for the moment. Oh no, Nami, what are you doing? Okay, that actually works apparently. I think I might be able to get this as well. I don't know. I need a bit more damage before I can... I'm doing a bit more damage for now because then I can do this. Where the fuck did she go? What the hell? Where did she... I don't understand where she went. She was right there. What the fuck? Okay, well, that was my bad. I should have just ulted a bit earlier, I think. I would have had enough damage. I wanted to get as many ultos as I could. Oh, I should she went around the side. Okay. I'm going to flash on her with my crit shot and kill her, I think. 
But she has enough for a net, I'm sure, so. Right. Maybe not this time. Bard's gonna be up soon. I have to do this right now if I'm gonna do it. But I think she's just too pussy now. So I'm just gonna leave. Get Ghost Spade instead. I need an extra like 100 gold though. Bard is here, but I can pop a pot. I don't wanna base and then have to rebase again. That's the problem. Ideally I want that to hit Kate, but don't mind. I have the Nami's for security anyway. I shouldn't be like punished for this. I don't know how Caitlyn got over here like straight away, but maybe I'm just bad. We got one kill at least, but careful, chill me. I got no mana. I'm just trying to push as hard as I can now, because. Uh... Oh, I don't have enough mana for my Q. Rip. I miss this one. I have my ghost spade, so I just want to base. At least falls off anyway. We don't fall off. So, like, as long as we don't screw this lane up completely, we should be perfectly fine in this game, I think. I'm actually going to get pink ward. Um, I don't normally do this at all on AD carries, but I should get pink wards more, and it will help a little bit with lane control. So, I might as well. I might as well. Uh, Kate is in a really awkward spot at the moment. She's just gonna one dude. He's gonna one burst you. If I was his Velcos, I would literally just one shot her. What the hell? Man, this Nami is the most aggressive Nami I think I've ever seen. I'm not sure that's a compliment though. Uh, that's definitely gonna be warded, I think. Bard surely left that warded. Oh wait, what? I have like massive slows on this guy. Please, surely we can go on that. No? What the hell? Where's <laughs> Amubu? <laughs> Amubu could just ran down the lane and killed her, I think. Velkos is not here. Uh, but he's just run over a lot of like health stuff now. It's just RIP. One good thing that I haven't really done at the moment is just use my E like that and just uh, push with it. I haven't really wanted to hardcore push before, and well, because it's right here now, so. We could, we could go on this. I don't have my ult though, I guess. For another 60 seconds. I'm just gonna be a bit careful because I don't know where Elise is. I don't know where Velkos is. I don't really want to get like completely boned, but at the same time, I'm so strong at the moment. After completing my ghost spin, I'm a lot stronger than Caitlyn with her just component parts. This is kind of why like Caitlyn is in this lull at the moment. She's in this period of, like where she's really not very strong, but I'm actually on the flip side extremely strong. So. See, so just two spells, and I'm gonna take her down. To, uh, below half, which is crazy, but dude, you can't focus the bard this late into the game. No way, it does not work. Oh shit, did not see that coming. Oh, that's good though. Might be able to one by this. I think I can kill the bard anyway. Maybe get both with the death fire? Oh, that would have been so juicy. Get that at least. I should have used my ghost babe while I was using my ult and I would have killed the uh, least I think as well. God damn. Right, let's put a wooden here though. Well that worked I guess. We're doing pretty well. We're at least using uh, stuff properly and we're doing what we can I think which is good. But um, I feel like I could have been playing a bit better this game I think. I'm, I'm super harsh on myself on this account though, like, I could be playing like a god and I would still think there's more I could do. I'm not saying I'm playing like a god at all, I made some big mistakes this game, but um, at least we're doing more in these ganks at the moment. I think we should be, so it's good that we actually are. We should be stronger than Caitlyn and we are stronger, which is nice. We can definitely roam more now though, like my ult into Velkos and stuff is going to be a big way to shut him down, I guess, or Lissandra's going to crap on him like that anyway. 
We should get towers though. Tower first, but I'm gonna have to go bot lane, I think. That sucks. That sucks. I'm just gonna go spade back. I don't wanna miss any farm. Uh, we really should take it to a uh, dragon soon. I, I feel like if we're stronger for now, we should actually get it rather than... I'm just gonna be careful not to stand on a trap because they really hurt. Rather let them get out than step on a trap. Oh my god, he won me too. <laughs> Jeez. Of course he did. Please say he dies though, right? Whoa. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm really bad. I She can't like fight me though, so it's okay. I can keep going. Whoa. And of course she didn't block that, mate. Oh, we got him, we got him. That was slightly misplayed, but we still got him, which is great. We still got him. This is the kind of thing you want to be doing on Jin, be way more aggressive. In one of my games recently, I can't remember what account it was on. I think it might have been the Kaling game, actually, where I was playing against a Jin. We basically, no, I think it was a Jinx game, actually. I think it was a Jinx game, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, and... Yeah, the Jin played fine, but he didn't really do anything. Like, there's a massive difference between me and the, that Jin. Like, I'm going so aggressive, and I'm trying so hard to kill people. And, like, the other Jin before was just content with farming and stuff. You really need to punish a Caitlyn, and you need to get ahead. We really should do this, though, I think. I want to put a pink down, and let's just do it. I want to get, I want to keep snowballing our lead. I don't want to leave this game to chance at all. I want to, while I'm still really strong, I think we should start to actually do stuff. Okay. Nice smite, dude. If we get anything, okay, I think that might be warded. Because they just went, whoa, okay, no, but the movie went in anyway. Please, go and thank you. Oh, nice flash. Oh, that's that done. Oh, wow, I killed him? Really? Oh, but please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Thank you. Nice. Okay, so this is really snowballing out of control now. The movie is very aggressive, but I think he's actually in a good way. <laughs> Alright, I have to watch at least. She went over this way. She could be here, and she could just pop out and try and kill me. So I'm watching this just to be safe. Um, and really want to get our dust blade soon. We'll get this, like, this I guess. And uh, boots wise, it's really awkward to actually do what you want to get because there's nothing like majorly. Um, there's nothing that amazing uh, for you to actually get. I could get my lucidity. Lucidity is actually not as bad as people think it is because it gives you summon a spell cooldown, which is nice. Swiftness is probably still, I would think, the most popular. Mercury treads would be okay if I needed to absorb the crowd control, but honestly normally if you get hit by crowd control you're dead. The reduction dam the reduction time is not gonna be uh, that much like it's not gonna make much of a difference. I'm just gonna snipe him, do a bit of damage, then run bot lane. Let's see if we can catch this guy, I don't know. One thing that my team is not really doing that I can do is I can leave with my ult and like catch them and slow them, which is what I did with this Caitlyn before. You remember when I almost one shot her? I'd lead with my ult and then um, like slow them down and the Amu will be able to follow up. But I'm a little bit wary about doing it just because last time I did it, he didn't actually go anywhere and he didn't follow up. So I don't think he's really used to playing with a Jin who does that. It's, it is a bit more of a high level thing. Like um, a normal Jin player will use their ult for killing people because it's like, you know, that's just a normal thing to do, right? But uh, a, a bit more of an experienced team, I think, just as well as the gym player. We use it to set things up and to play make and stuff. So, yeah, um, I actually would like to go and like try and kill this Caitlyn, but oh nope, oh nope, no thank you, bollocks. Should have flashed. I'm gonna flash the stun though. No oh, thank you. Bard had his stun lined up, and I didn't want to risk that, so I'm just gonna leave. Um. That was really dumb though. I shouldn't have been there. I, as soon as I was there, I was like, this is really, really, really cocky. I'm gonna have to be a bit more careful now. Because I'm not gonna have like the get out of jail free card that is that. Oh my god, he actually ult to secure the kill. Okay, I'm gonna see. Kate's coming up over here, I think. I'm gonna go around and try and kill the Kate. 
Nice. I wanted to get her because I thought she was the easier target, actually. I don't have my W just yet. Oh my god, he just hooked me into the tower, really? Oh, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Nice. So this is where you want to be aggressive. Like, you want to be trying to find these fights and picks as much as possible. And not just, like, it being uh, happy with just one kill. Like, people have been happy they killed the Caitlyn and been like, that's it. But no, like, you need to push. You need to get more. I need more towers from this stuff. So, like, when you're, especially when I'm on this account and I... Um, I'm trying to climb like properly. This is a really good habit to get into for when I start playing a mid to high diamond because it is actually like It's actually difficult and you will throw more often than normal. I'm just gonna go straight to get away here You will throw a lot in games like this when um, If you don't keep pushing your lead it's easier for the NBT to come back and they'll be more capable to come back as well So I don't want to get in that situation at all even though it's 0-5 Caitlyn, 0-2 Velkoz, 2-7 Darius like Anything can happen. I don't feel like we're massively like so far ahead that this game is just won yet. Their farm has been pretty decent in this game, which is the one thing I'm actually paying attention a lot to how they've all farmed and farm means even with a crap score you're still you still have a lot of gold. So I'm not gonna take my foot off the pedal this game. I'm gonna make sure we actually keep spanking them as as much as we can. Uh, let's get our dusk blade. And we'll probably, like, we could get some more damage and just not get boots. And I think we're going to do it just because we're really greedy. But my pink's gone. I should get another one at some point. I really want these biscuits for now because I have no life still, though. So it's the only thing that would, like, save me from Reg Knight, for example. Even though they are running, I oh, know, won't run one. I'm not quite in range for my ult just yet. She has got to be super, super careful. No. No, 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 fuck, fuck them, fuck bot, fuck bot, go mid, go mid, go mid. If they want to base race us, we'll base race them and we'll win, so. Oh, no one hit it, okay. Well, this is turned really awkward because they're not actually getting anything, but we just dive them, dive them, dive them, dive them, dive them. There we go. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. Fuck them. If they want a base race, we win. Base race and we win. Velkos has decent wave clear, but they're not going to get an inhib, so... Do you really not want to... We could have done that so much better, and we could have actually got like loads out of that. We probably would have got an inhib, which is why we base raced them, but my team was just not on the same page. They didn't want to do it. It's so obvious, you could tell they just really did not want to do it. So I guess I should have stopped. In hindsight, like if, if you don't want to make the play, then you can't really force your team to do it because you get the half in, half out. And um, yeah, half in, half out is never a good way to play. I don't want to leave this because I don't want to give it to them though. I have to be careful he doesn't flash on me, but I think he flashed. Oh fuck. That also is a bad thing. I'm just going to try and do as much damage as I can before I die. I'm 100% dead, so try and crit before I die. Nice. We got Darius down. That is. I'm not going to escape there. If I try and run, I'm going to die. So what's the point? Like, I need to. What a freaking troll, man. <laughs> oh my god, he's going to kill the Lissandra. That would have been so funny. I'm not getting out of that. I put myself in a really shit position, so I need to just try and kill someone. And I was actually lucky I could I could actually do it. Okay, so... Flash cooldown will be so good on this team. I'm actually going to do it. It looks so dumb. I'm probably going to get flamed for this in the comments, but... Oh my god. It, probably going to get flamed for this in the comments, but... Flash cooldown is so important for me. Um, I really do need it. So it gives you 10% summoner spell cooldown. Now my summoner spell, where is it like? Um, it's going to be up in a second as well. So I get full benefit. And it's 270 now, which is nice. So an extra 30 seconds off of it. I don't really need more move speed or anything. So that's just the only reason. Cooldown reduction is not even that good on Jin. Like it's okay, but it's not amazing. Um, I don't think cooldown reduction is like that great of a stat. It's just literally the summoner spell cooldown that I want from this. So we don't really have anything else on the map to take apart from like Baron and then break an inhib, I think. Um, inhibs are super hard to take if you don't have Baron because you shouldn't be that far ahead that you can just walk down and like take it. Oh, really? I'm just going to move just in case this guy got 
uh, hit, but we should like, we should try and fight it. Velcos has a lot of damage, so this is the one thing I'm afraid of. If he like screws me, oh my god, dude. And the Elise is right here as well. The The Velcos has so much damage that she could just like He was one shot. Oh my god, really that did not hit me, no way. Oh for fuck's sake. Don't go in after I'm dead, please. I think she probably should have with the Velcos to cancel, but that was decent. My team actually just carried me so hard there. I did not think I was in range of that at all. No way. I didn't want to flash your heal though because I don't want to waste my summoners. I need them for the next fight. But 100% my bad. We are really strong though and we are pretty far ahead. So I need to just sit at the back of the fight. I don't want to be the one at the front. I'm trying too hard to get stuff done because I want to pressure this game and actually win it before we get like it gets too late. But the byproduct of that is I'm just making dumb mistakes and being too close. The whole like point of, of playing Jin is the fact that you can actually do like so much from so far away. Like you can be a whole screen away and you're still going to be effective. So the fact that I'm trying to be so close and auto attack and stuff, like he's not really an auto attack and AD carry. So that is completely my, uh, completely my fault there. We can try and get a Baron. Maybe. Um... We can try and get a Baron maybe, but we need to try and do something at least. I don't like just sitting around. Sitting around, in my opinion, is just letting them get back in the game. The only good thing is Elise is like the fed one on their team and she is not a very good team fighter, but eventually Velkoz is actually going to start crapping on us. Oh, he could hit me over the wall. Oh, she's trolling, I guess. Oh, she's AFK. Oh, no, no, he's dead. Fucking hell, dude. R.I.P. They're just going to push mid, I think. I don't see why they wouldn't. I can ult, though. I can, I can ult this. I'm going to aim for the Caitlyn at the back. This is to take her out of the fight more than actually kill her. Nice. There we go. I think we actually got the Kate in the end, right? Yeah, we did. So that was good. That was good. This is what we need to do really more than anything. We just needed to fight, but it was finding the fight and stuff. So, yeah. I don't see... Now we're starting a fight. Like, you're the same mistake with Maya was basically like... Getting impatient. I don't think you even go spend that fight. Uh, so impatient that she ends up like making the wrong play. I guess oh, I need to sit out more. I I'm so tired. Like honestly, from the gym and stuff. Like I'm slouching on my chair, but I need to sit up because I play better when I'm sat straight anyway, and it's better posture for my back. So let's fix that for now. All right, let's get a pink ward. Got nothing else to buy already. And now we're pretty much full armor pen. So this is when we switch to the more traditional build where we go like Infinity Edge and Rapid Fire Cannon. Rapid Fire, in my opinion, is actually better first. Um, and yeah, like we, we can we can dive easy. As long as we get a priority target, we can like 100% dive. And Mimu is so strong. So is Lissandra. So is the Trondor. Um, and yeah, I, my ult is in 10 seconds. It's gonna blue trinket over here just in case. It's gonna stun me, I think. Why are you there, Kaden? Oh my god. Trying to farm the jungle when Trundle is next to you. That's not clever. Gonna dodge the stun. Elise is definitely trolling. I think she's pissed off at her team, which is. Uh, I mean, you can understand that she played well and she's annoyed, but you can't understand, like, actually doing this is just not cool at all, so. Yeah, it's a shame. This Trundle is a bloody beast, though. The Triforce Trundle is insane. So, all we need to do really is just, like, get a fight, I guess. Ult, and we'll be fine. This game's pretty much over now. 
I think. We could throw it, but they're not even really fighting us for these things. I guess, like, we called Caitlyn last time. But it doesn't seem like they're really going to fight us for it. Darius really wants to go, though. Okay, we're going to go in. Double kill, maybe? I don't think I'm going to get that. I should go for the bard, really. Nice. Probably shouldn't have done that. Oh my good lord. Lissandra, what the hell. Lissandra's such a good pick if you get ahead, because you just crush. If you get behind, though, you're actually not as strong, but my god. When you get ahead, you absolutely wreck. Well, this was actually a pretty good game. I'm actually happy with this game for once. I think we made some mistakes as normal, which is just like every single game is full of mistakes, but um, we actually played pretty decently, so I'm actually, I'm actually kind of happy with that game for a change, which doesn't happen on this account very often because I'm very hard on myself when I'm trying to improve. The way you improve is you be hard on yourself. You look at yourself rather than anyone else. Like whenever you... Um, oh, we got promoted. Nice. So whenever you're like trying to improve and stuff, you always look at yourself first and then other people after. This is the mistake people make. They look at like other people and say, oh, my team sucks and all of this stuff. And it's like, no, dude, like you need to look at yourself first. You need to think like what you can improve on every single game. There's going to be something. And yeah, but I actually think we actually played pretty well that game. There was a couple of mistakes, as usual, as said, but apart from that, we used to roll properly. We bullied the Kaelin and we really took it to them in the lane phase, which is how you're supposed to play this matchup. End up going well. So we got promoted, which is good. On our way back to Diamond on this account. And after that, next up will be Master. So thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate you still here, as always. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow.